I originally got into dancing from seeing Riverdance when I was about seven years old, and immediately it just grabbed my attention, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> How fast people can move the feet and you know, make the noises, and just how it is unique and it's very different from other styles of dance. I asked my mom if I could take classes uh, in our local area, so I did. It kind of just came naturally to me and I do hops around my house all the time and they tell me to stop because I was doing too much. <laughs> the Irish dancing, it's um, really, really disciplined and the posture of Irish dancing, it's like straight up and um, just the whole seriousness of it and then that goes into my other dancing because I know how much I have to practice, how much dedication it takes, and self-motivation. Irish dancing, I was a soloist, so I really had to push my own self, And but I use that into a goal list with my teammates and try and make them better dancers too. Both are completely different, but they help with one another. I did a demonstration at previous classes there, and then the responses were just great. So it's, it's still growing and developing the more that people hear about it. Um, and I think they all really respond to it well because, like I said, it is very different and they think it's fun to just move your lower body around and not really have to worry about your upper body. I definitely am going to pursue a career in grad school, but I think I would actually like to still audition for bigger professional teams uh, such as the Lovables, for Chicago Bulls, um, and then even the opposite direction, try out for Riverdance um, and just go for it and see if I can make it. And to qual I qualify for that now by ranking internationally. So um, I guess I would just try it and shoot for the stars. <laughs>